Z, do you want to go to a glory hole together? Boundaries, bitch! Ah, uh, yes. Dave Chappelle, the closer, causing all the controversies. Why people don't... I, the last one came out like two years ago and caused the exact same reaction. So I don't understand why people don't seem to comprehend that he's a comedian and that he is he is literally punching everyone. Yeah. He leaves white people, black people. He says it all. all. Everyone else he's fine with are just jokes, but he really hates the whites. <laughs> he's really going hard really on the whites. Really doesn't like us whites. <laughs> I'm going hard in the pain in this one. Yeah, no, not a fan. <laughs> but so the closure came out. It's on Netflix, and uh, we both watched it. I watched some of it. Some of it. You couldn't make it through all the way because you were uh, t- too busy being offended. I was too were you busy. clutching your pearls? I was too busy pooping, cleaning my teeth. <laughs> really? You have to go do those washing things? Washing my hair. Wow. Yeah. Uh, it was. I thought it was very good. Uh, I, I don't really enjoy stand-up specials all that much. Like They're kind of hit or miss for me. Like There's some comedians who I think are funny, and I've watched their stand-up. I was like, Ugh. But Dave Chappelle's one of the few that I do think does a good job. Although the one prior to Sticks and Stones was not good. It was two separate. I forget that was called. It was not good. It was like when he first made his comeback and it was like, I don't know. I just didn't think it was funny. But this one was was pretty darn funny. It was a little long. I think it's like an it's an uh, hour and 12, 12 minutes. But the majority, of, like there's a long, long story at the end of it of him trying to justify his friendship with a trans person and why he's like, I don't hate trans people, that he's not he's not transphobic Dave Chappelle, as he said numerous times. I think the guy is just, I think it's starting to, he even says it in the special that it, the people coming up to him on the street and giving him a, and hassling him, I think it's starting to get to him. As somebody who seemed to have been sensitive in the past about being in the public spotlight, I think it's starting to get to him again. Did you, because he even said he's not doing another special for a long time. Yeah, I don't think I, I might have missed that part in the beginning when he was bitching about it, but. He was bitching about being rich and like b- bitching about like. Not taking the $50 million from Comedy Central. Yeah, I thought that was a little weird. Where, you don't need to know that, bro. Yeah, where he was trying to be like self-deprecating, but wasn't. He's like, because yeah, he's bragging about got walking all the money. away from $50 million. And I went to Africa and jerked off a mountain lion. <laughs> And then came back to Ohio. I mean, he clearly doesn't like the spotlight because he lives in Ohio with, in a town of like 37 people. So you're saying Ohio people. is a piece of shit? No, it's just remote. Ah. Where there's not a lot of people where people will leave him alone. That's mm-hmm. what he wants. Because there was at least three or four stories about him getting hassled in bars, in the street. Yeah, that, I, I think I miss all that. Okay, there's a part where he's like, he was talking about where he beat, he beat some, some uh, chick's ass in Did a bar. Know? Yeah, TMZ tried to run a story on it and he's like, Oh, I beat that bitch's ass. <laughs> Did he actually beat a woman? That's what he said. Fuck that time. Yeah. He said, he's like, I'm going to slap the shit out of you, bitch. <laughs> so he he, he was, uh, he, and he was expecting the backlash. He's like, I know I'm going to get in trouble for this. He's like, I'm, this isn't going to go well. But I, th- I, I get his point, And I think it's what we needed to hear right now. But at the same time, like as far as the special goes, I think Sticks and Stones is better. Uh, let's look at the let's look at the Rotten Tomatoes on it real quick. Uh, as predicted, the the tomato meter for the critics forty three percent. All seven reviewers scared. They're scared to they're review scared. it. I think they're definitely scared. Ninety six percent on the audience score. Twenty five hundred plus. What do the bad reviews say though? I'm just curious. Out of the seven, he's rich and famous. He reminds us and huge, unapologetic, huge. incendiary, troubling. Okay, Clifford Big. He adds. He should start acting like acting like what? His most incendiary, troubling, and unapologetic unapologetic one. I don't exactly understand what he's saying that is so bad. It's just one of those like liberal hat like like those taglines that they have to say that, you know, I guess a trans woman is a woman and that's that's what's getting them mad. Like there's nothing in it in particular that stood out to me that was like, oh, this is extraordinarily transphobic. Other like he doesn't make fun of trans people. Not as bad as in, in Sticks and Stones. I felt was was worse. Oh yeah, he was going. Yeah, 
This was just like, you mentioned trans people, you should be in trouble for it. Yeah, he did an awkward story of how he had a trans friend that suicided herself. Yeah, like I just didn't. I was like, the fuck? Yeah, it was kind of weird. So let's look at Sticks and Stones. Sticks and Stones, 35%, 99% by the audience score, 25,000 plus audience score. And the critic consensus, God, they're so dumb. Well, 17 of them. Edgy, but empty. Sticks and Stones won't break any bones, but it won't elicit many laughs either. Clearly no one agrees with you, but just to remind, it's as if people don't remember the past. They, you know, it was like as if he was reminding them why he has street cred because he walked away from 50 million. Because people don't remember that he did the one of the Comedy most- Comedy Central, yeah. Yeah, they don't remember any of that. It was what, 2003? It was, it was a long ass time ago. Yeah. All mm-hmm. these damn Gen Zers. Yeah, they just don't under, I just don't get it. I, I really don't. You have got our attention, pal. You just haven't delivered the fun. And Sticks and Stones is de- designed to generate inflammatory coverage. It's a symbiotic cycle with no end in sight. Oh my god! And it's become the last beloved, the last thing a beloved provocateur should ever want to be. Predictable. She should go scissor a blender. Oh, uh, that was the only other thing that I thought was a little off. Like he calls himself the goat oh he does yeah and i thought that was a little uh disingenuous considering that he worked with paul mooney and he's worked with some of the greatest of all time to even like mention that especially considering that it's like comedy doesn't necessarily stand the test of time like it's really 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 hard to have comedy that doesn't become timely where it, like once you're out of the, like like comedy from the 60s won't make anybody laugh really comedy from the 70s doesn't necessarily make us all laugh. those people weren't funny right and only who's here now is funny. exactly gotcha just dave chappelle D- just dave chappelle and maybe bob one. burr bill burr? burr bob burr bobby burr yeah there bobby you go. burley so as as suspected this um has created quite a controversy netflix is losing their shit well, the employees are. So apparently three employees stormed into a meeting. Uh, they, they interrupted a meeting, sort of shouting at everyone, including a trans woman who was mad at Dave Chappelle. If you have employees that decide to break into your meeting and start screaming, you should call uh, the loony bin. The police. Well, the police have been defunded, so they're not coming. Oh, boy. But you can call a community worker who can talk them down from whatever problem they have. Apparently, they've been, uh, they were suspended, but yeah. then they, of course, they uh, reinstated some of them. Like, I, I don't know. They, they didn't, didn't join the meeting with in any ill intent, and nor did they think there was any access in seeking, in, in seeking access to the meeting. I don't know that it's okay to break into a meeting and start shouting at people. Like, that doesn't seem appropriate to me. But hey, I guess if you're one of the uh, one of the mafia, you can do it. You can just break in. So the CEO defended Dave Chappelle, though. Yes. Yeah. It, they he just wants him to have his creative freedom, and that that means they're gonna put some people believe is harmful. He's like, whatever, man. I don't understand. Like, there's a show called Dear White People, which I'm pretty sure criticizes white people. I don't know for sure. That's okay, but him <laughs> criticize, like, you can't have one without creating the other. <laughs> it doesn't make any sense. White people are the devil, though. Mm. We're the worst. Dave Chappelle hates us, so I mean, he must be right. You are the worst. So, yeah. uh, so we're gonna actually correct the story that everyone else on YouTube's been running with, which is. That they've been suspended. Well, guess what? Netflix reinstated these. Uh, these they employees. transitioned them back to working. They transitioned them back they to wor- working. Yes. I don't understand why it's a trans employee and allies. Why isn't it just employees? Why is it one special employee and then other ally employees? Like, why does everyone have to be labeled? Can't we just be human beings? We could be. In fact, I don't know if you noticed, but Dave on his, on his arm had a tattoo of people making the word human because that's what he th- he believes that we should all be treated as humans oh yeah that's cute he's a cute guy yeah so i work at netflix yesterday we launched another Chappelle special where he attacks the trans community and the very validity of transness all the while trying to pit us against other marginalized groups you're going to hear a lot of talk out about offense 
we are not offended. What does that even mean? I, see, I'm, I'm confused. Are they offended or are they not know. offended? I, I give up. Uh, th- there is an update to this story. One day after the story was published, Netflix reinstated the suspended employees. Now they're planning a walkout. On yes. October so now we're now we will go to the the Wall Street Journal. <clears throat> I'm pretty sure if every human being that works for Netflix walks out, especially all the executives, Netflix will still have shows because yeah. all the IT people will just keep it up, right? Yeah. Or would you be worried? Like, what do these people do? What are their jobs? Well, it's not the it's not the executives walking out. What do these regular people do? What I do you think I have they no do? No idea. Does it say? No, but they're not. We gotta subscribe. Doing. Damn it. Oh, well, at least we know they're walking out and yeah. we can just make fun of them for walking out of their jobs. Maybe they'll get all that un- unemployment. Oh, wait, that's all gone. It is. So it's OK to walk out for this, but it's not OK to walk out for other things. Exactly. They fucking up our supply chains. Yeah. Stop messing up our supply chains. My gas keeps going up. My gas. I can't afford it. I got sucked dick for coke. Boundaries, bitch. Oh, my God. So, uh... It was good, but not offensive enough for people to get up in arms about it. I don't no. really understand. It wasn't that funny, but it wasn't that offensive. Yeah, it was yeah, it was not a ninety five. It was like a it was a solid like A minus, maybe B plus. A, a-, 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 a- yeah, yeah, there you go. It was there. It was alright. We saw it. We came. We saw. I didn't even think the glory hole jokes were all that funny. I didn't hear those at all. I yeah, there's a whole that. segment about glory holes and uh whatever. I it, came when he was going hard on the trans people. Ah, uh, that's when you walked in. It was in. like 45 minutes of trans jokes. I, I guess they were jokes. I guess it was trans. It was a trans story. It was like trans jokes and then the trans. That story wasn't that funny. It wasn't that funny. He got like weirdly fucked up when he's like, oh, she killed herself. I'm like, oh, keep dokey. Yeah, I already knew that part. So. Yeah, I, I didn't know that part. So I was like, oh, okay. I knew the ending to that story. So. I was like, well, uh, I guess here we are. Well, either way, uh, you know, I guess we won't hear from Dave Chappelle for a little while because he's going to go into hiding now. He's not doing another special for a while, but... He's going back to Africa. I have no idea what he's going to do. Take, take his money and run. He's going to tame lions. Perhaps. To eat white people. Perhaps. Because he hates us. Apparently. He hates you. Well, I'm not white. I'm noob noob. Mm, okay. I'm you're my on, own gender. You're on a different spectrum. Own gender and color. That is true. You are your own. You're not a member of the Alphabet Mafia. You're a member of the Noob Noob Mafia. I'm autonomous in my gender. Absolutely. Exactly. <laughs> As, uh, who, who who pointed that out to you? Who? Who? Uh, Isaac, that's right. Oh, Thank yeah. Thank you, Isaac. Isaac, you the man. Anyway, uh, if you want to catch our full-length audio podcast, you can. It is free on all places podcast-worthy, like Spotify and Apple iTunes. Google Play. Google Play. Those places. Stitcher, I think. My basement. You can go there too. Mm-hmm. You can also catch the live stream of said audio podcast Friday nights, 7 p.m. Nope, 7.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Be sure to join us there for the party. It's always always a good time. Except when I'm not there, like last week. Ah, it's even better then. The party gets real hard. Gets a little more naked. I'm hard right now. Oh, you didn't even watch it to see how many clothes I took off. I did not. You would have to watch it. Too busy it taking now. my own clothes off in Key West. Mm, gotcha. So anyway, um, make sure that you turn on notifications, I guess, and like and subscribe and those things. We'd appreciate it. We hope we earned it today. Uh, but if you don't, there is a strong possibility that Noob Noob will do this. I will create a glory hole in your bedroom while you're sleeping and then gobble your dick up like a Thanksgiving turkey. <laughs> like nom 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 on that leg. Oh, jeez. Oh, my God. You want it, don't you? Mm, or you don't. Beans. Either way, just do it. Like, whatever you don't want, I'm not going to do if you subscribe. But if you don't, then I'm going to do the thing you, you don't want. Whatever you, yeah, whichever you don't prefer, he will do the opposite of. Mm-hmm. I'm not sure. Yep. Those are triple negatives. Penises will be involved. Oh, my God. And my top. What about our all our female listeners? Well, I will transition them just so I can do the glory hole. Oh, jeez. Yep. So, anyway... <laughs> Oh boy. <laughs> From uh this is new noob and Z. Well, that's new noob. This is Z, <laughs> if you can't tell. Uh and uh from all of us here at Our Views Will Kill You. We're on to the next one. <laughs>